Hey, well, it's Coach Gurney. This is video footage you hitting on Wednesday, July 29th, 2015. And I've got you paired up with David Wright of the New York Mets because you guys have similar body types, and hopefully one day you'll be playing on TV like he is. Um, the few things I notice, and we'll see this on Wright versus you, is your front foot tends to spin off towards the third baseline and looking at a bunch of frames from your swings this evening and your back foot doesn't rotate enough. Um, and I don't know if that's because you're working on going the other way and you don't want to over-rotate, but I would want you to galvanize that back hip a little more by rotating that back foot. And then the head movement. And I don't know if that's because you're going with a longer stride and leg lift, but there's more head movement here than we want, ideally. So let's play the tape so we can see the differences. Okay, so we see you both load. But already, your foot's off the ground. Wright doesn't get his foot that far off the ground. In his load, he actually torques back. And you see, you both have a nice high hands and back elbow position, which I think is good for torque, as long as you can get to the baseball without casting on that inside arm. Okay, and as you attack the ball, look at Wright. His weight is over home plate as is yours, but look at his back foot. He gets that heel to the sky and he rotates on that back leg and we see that right here and you really don't. So let's really work on rotating that back leg. In addition, look at his front foot. He does a great job of keeping that front foot balanced and closed whereas you tend to spin off with that front foot towards the third base line. All right, His head and weight, as I want to stress, are going towards second base. As you see here, you tend to spin off towards third. You both have a very nice high finish, but his weight is more centered towards going to the right side, whereas yours is going towards the left side. And the key thing that I'm seeing in all your swings is look at the back foot. You're not getting any rotation there. And the problem with that is you're not getting that back hip in. So this is a night where I, I think you went three for four and hit the ball pretty soundly. So that's great you're having success. I think we can build on that success. And you know back to the stride thing, the issue I have with the stride thing, and we'll watch you versus right stride wise, I just think it's going to create head movement. So let's take a look at your head movement versus Wright's head movement. So he comes out of the circle a little bit there. Let's see you. And you're way out of the circle. So he's barely moved his head and you're completely moved. And as you know, when guys are throwing 90 and have a vicious slider or some other nasty pitch, the more you move your head, the harder it is to see the ball consistently. So those are my quick things, and I wish you continued success and look forward to watching you develop in the coming months.